Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, and welcome to another episode of Clown World, Upside Down World, of the weird carryings on of governments and councils who have gone into complete control freak mode and believe that every Tom, Dick and Harry in the world is going to comply with what they want. Well, you've got another thing coming. It's not happening. Certainly not with me, anyhow. So here we have this story. (laughs) Oh, man. Okay. Irish Council introduced DNA testing of dog poo to catch out lazy owners. Owners who refuse to pick up after their pets can be fined up to €3,000 if convicted in the district court. Okay. DNA testing of dog poo. Well, there's an opportunity for you. If you're out of work, can you imagine doing that? Walking around the streets looking for dog poo to swab and then taking it back to the lab. It says here Leitrim has announced plans to clamp down on lazy dog owners as talks are in place to bring in DNA testing of dog poo to help identify offenders. It says here, the plan will see dog owners asked to cooperate with Leitrim Animal Warden in allowing a sample of saliva to be taken from their dog and left behind dog waste will then be taken in by the warden, which will be matched with the saliva samples to identify the perpetrators. The council says dog owners who allow the warden to take voluntary Samples will not be issued with a fine for first-time offences, but warns that fines may be issued for subsequent offences. So why on earth would you volunteer to give the saliva from your dog to the authorities? What, what, some clown's going to come from the council is going to come round to your house and ask, can I just get some saliva from your dog's mouth? No, go away, off you trot. Why would I want to do that? It continues here, as for pet owners who fail, oh here we go, who fail to comply to provide saliva samples, they will be issued with a statutory notice under the Animal Health and Welfare Act, which compels the owner to allow a sample to be taken from their dog. Failure to comply with this notice in not allowing a sample to be taken will result in a fine or prosecution according to the council. All right. Well, that's not, that's not voluntary, is it? So are you seriously telling me, right? Are you, come on. You're expecting me to believe that the dog poo in this place in Ireland is so bad. It's such a problem that they want to create an entire DNA database of all dogs and then employ people to go around the streets searching for dog poo to swab so they can fine owners 3,000 euros again. We have more nonsense in regards to pets in the news. In the UK, what was it? Last week, they said they want to now microchip all cats. Then there was that ghoul on GMB saying, don't replace your pets when they die. And now we have the DNA profiling of dogs. Why do I feel that when these people in their lovely, lovely, exciting new job, their dream job of searching for dog poo in the streets and swabbing dog poo on a street corner. Why do I feel that many of these test results are going to come back positive on something else? Is that the idea? So yeah, just another story, another sign that the world has gone mad, completely loopy. The lunatics have obviously taken over the asylum. No point taking any of this seriously anymore. So if you're in this area of Ireland and the council come knocking on your door, looking to get saliva out of your dog, I wouldn't bother answering. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com trying to build a community of like-minded souls, and I'll see you later.